todos. me by the official name is Fonzo. Everybody call me Daddy, Papa's, Fon. You pick whatever name you want to pick. Just be careful with it. Because I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to say shit that nobody else want to say. I'm going to say shit that's going to be speaking on your heart, but also talking in your mental. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Sometimes it's going to be possible. I got to lay that mother down. I know everybody's like, where has he been? Why am not he uploaded videos? I've been missing like a kid on the back of a milk cart. You can't blame me. But guess what? Calling everybody, bop, bop, bop. Well, you know, reverse shit. They calling me, and guess what? I've been found. Hello, how y'all doing? I'm a one a year type of nigga. It's to a point to where I start noticing shit in my videos, and we are our worst critic, right? I have a lazy eye, meaning this. I ain't tripping off it. I'll keep this motherfucker cold like a pirate all day, but at the same time, it's to where I start noticing like that motherfucker. Really be swerving. And I didn't record it so many videos, so I'm like, damn, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna either keep it or I'm gonna let that shit go. I can literally show you a list like these to where it's like, <laughs> I'm like, when we gonna stop? I'm gonna stop now. It ain't no point for me to keep going if I can't keep it. What I'm gonna recall for if I'm gonna just do it for myself? I want y'all to see this shit for a reason. For a reason. A reason. I'm a traveling type of guy. Like, if I wanna go out somewhere, I'm gonna record this shit. And guess who in the video? We gonna take the video out because it's I all cocked out? Not no more. <laughs> but it's to a point to where it's like, you ain't posting it back to back to back. Now, it was to a point. I didn't say point, point, point because it should be so real. When you peep game at your own shit, you get to notice the flaws and the underestimated victories of that shit. Like, I could hold two conversations and things. It was to a point. Ah, shit. When I tell you I was going to the club back to back, and I was outside, excuse me. Yeah, I was outside. But when you talking to a female and they get to doing this shit, really on some neck break shit. And I be look, I'm talking to them and I'm like, what the hell is she staring at? So I'm like, is you looking or ducking the feds? Now, when she's looking behind her, I got a question. Like, hey, look, mom, like, what you staring at? Who's behind you? Is you on the lookout and shit? Is you like, yo, you good, shorty? She like, nigga, like, I'm trying to see what you're staring at. I'm like, what you mean? Your eye didn't swerve that way. And I'm like, ah, oh, it did it again. So now I got to correct my shit. So it's like this. If I wear glasses, right, it's cool and it strengthens me up. But, you know, at some point, you're going to get tired of seeing a four by four with a bifocal. Now I'm to a point to where it's like, throw some shades on. And if not, fuck them. <laughs> hey, excuse me, excuse me. But you know, it's to a point where you gotta grow confidence about your own self and do your own thing and say, fuck everybody like Tupac did, you hear me? But now it's to a point, I'm gonna start taking y'all around the world with me and y'all gonna see the real life activities of the funness. So like I said, they call me daddy. So if they be like, daddy, yo, hi, daddy. Like, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> this shit get real. But man, it's to a point to where I'm like, you know what? If she rock with me, she rock with me. If she don't, she don't. No, this ain't no about no female. She didn't drop this ass. No, nah, she ain't dropped me. Maybe she did, but who care? It was to a point to where it's like, when you get a girl and she really rock with your ass, it turns into something more than just emotional and physical. You get to seeing her check account and shit. I tell you, it was a lot of points to where I could actually got me a cougar. I'm going to say this shit that nobody else want to say. Hey, 
Ain't nobody gonna cut my shit off. <laughs> now, when's the last time you looked at somebody's mama and she like, ooh, that's she bad. I hit. Exactly. See, so you can't knock it if it's better. See, if she's speaking, she's speaking. If she's looking, she ain't finna book it. She's finna rock with you and give you every check of the wallet. Especially if she big. When's the last time you got with a big girl tax time? Tax season coming up. I know I ain't tripping, but also who really love cooking is some cougars. I had to leave one alone. Shit gets serious real fast. You know when that emotion come in to you show her all the kindness that you got, and I'm a kind mother. Mm. And now when you do that, they start feeling as if, what is it called, spoiled? So when you becoming spoiled and older folks, they turn into ooh. It was a point to where that emotion really could have took this lady to where she like, I'm about to propose to him. Yeah, I said she proposed to me on two knees type. <laughs> I'm gonna just say this. If you ever feel like you in a situation and you got a cougar or any female that's like, ooh, she out of state, but she with me, buy a Frontier Pass. It was so bad, I thought about selling dope. <laughs> it was a crazy part. Hey, selling drugs and rocking with a cougar? Let me just say how weird things get. Rocking with a girl. I'm rocking with this cougar girl. She at least in her 60s, late 50s, early 60s. But you know, she got that social security check coming in. But little did I know she was really violent as I knew she was. Meaning this, if I'm talking to old Shawty and I'm peeping game of her looking over her shoulder, and this ain't my eye talking. This is her looking over her shoulder, meaning she's doing hair, she's babysitting, and she's selling dope all at the same house. I can't compete with that, and I ain't trying to be in that lifestyle. I almost caught a Rico case with her. Ironically, this lady loved my cooking, right? But also, I didn't know she was a chef herself. If I could souffle some motherfucking shit, maybe I could do the dough to two. Sir the black. I don't know. But see, I couldn't, I couldn't be no dope cooker, honestly. Because you people already got to wear the mask cooking so they won't get contact. I'll be passed out out in that goddamn kitchen. What's wrong with him? That nigga didn't got high off of fumes. Then we got bleach, <laughs> baking soda, ice. I ain't giving no ingredient, but all I'm saying is this. Apparently, if you got to wear a mask on doing this shit, you shouldn't be doing it probably. There is no way you're going to have me on the back of that goddamn milk cart because I done fucked up a kilo. I'll be stupid as hell to do some shit like that. I'm not meant for that lifestyle. You know, you might see the nigga out here with the Johns on and things, but I'm not about to be fighting for my life or so out of here with... I ain't even got to get into it. I think you understand where I'm going with it. Leaving them cougars alone is going to be something easy for me, but also something hard for me. Like I said, when you get pampered with, and yeah, I said pampered, with food, clothes, and not any food, I'm talking about steak. Clothes, plane tickets, DoorDash orders. And you know how we young, we like that subscription shit. I got Stars, Amazon Prime, Paramount, Peacock, Hulu, Tubi. And I know y'all fuck with Tubi and that shit free. I told her as it's $18.99. She sending me that shit off the limit. Like, hey, ain't shit I gotta say. If I find me a cougar that's really with the business, I'll go and join Frontier. Some of y'all don't know what I mean. Frontier got a membership, $149 a month. All the flights you want. Only thing is, there's a catch to it. Always a catch of something. That plane might go down any second, because you know the people that they got working on the plane then is either on drugs or either about to hit a hit a drug. And I'm just saying this. I know there's kids that are real smart. They're also real talented. For instance, I know it's coming up, but listen to this. My grandmother gave away a washer that didn't work no more, right? She called my uncle. Hey, son, I got a washer that don't work. I know y'all said y'all wanted one, and I know you good with your hands. He's like, mama, I'll come get it in five seconds. I'm in my head like, what the hell are they going to do with a broken up washer? This is the crazy part. I go to where he was staying at, and I go in the backyard. Why? Because that's the hanging spot. This being said to that, I look to see that washer in the corner and what they got connected. They got a bike, a chain, and they didn't took the whole frame off the goddamn washer. This how smart kids could be. 
They got a water hose, put it inside through the clothing, detergent, you know, do your duggy. At the same time, they got somebody on a bike pedaling the fuck out of that goddamn washer. But that shit is doing a rinse cycle, spin, repeat twice. I can't compete. It is some moments. There, there's been moments that I ain't learned about. Hey, you ever seen somebody? <laughs> It's so crazy. You ever see somebody take an empty pack, empty 12 pack of sodas into the store and tell them that the shit was empty and they walk out with a brand new 12 pack? I rest my case. It's the thought of them. That being said, this is Frontier, similar to Spirit. You might go up, you might stay, you might go down without even they telling you you finna land. But it's to where, hey, you either gonna be out here selling drugs with old Cougar Baby or you gonna be out here risking your life? It's a... <laughs> hey, shit can get real, real quick. It goes to me saying this. Be careful who you put your life around because some cougars could be in some shit you don't know about. And some of them still like being young, kicking it at the club. I'm not your man. I'm, I'm, I'm a friend that can give you what you need. <laughs> so I'm gonna just keep y'all posted. Take y'all out there to work out with me. Get some swole on with your Dougie, you feel me? Cause you know, only one person could do it. And that's yourself. If you need some motivation, watch me. Cause I'm gonna tell you, y'all gonna see some shit. Y'all gonna see a lot of people. I put my hands up cause I, it ain't my fault you see it. If you watch it and you click on this shit, I can't help you. But I tell you what I can help you do. What can I help you do? <laughs> I can't help you do this shit. Should I tell you this? I can give you a pep talk. I might give you a number to call and shit. Send me a letter in the P.O. box. Because um, it's part of we're going to get with a conversation. I want to bring in some guests. I want to bring in some people that I know. Some people that I want y'all to meet. And I'm counting because I want to make sure I get it down. People I know. People I want y'all to meet. People that are going to give y'all some gems. Life and valuable lessons. Hey. If I say this, you're peeking, you're speaking. If you're looking, don't you get to booking because I see your ass looking at me, baby. You know, shit get real. I can't give y'all the story yet. Y'all ain't, ain't here for it yet. It's just gonna be some, y'all gonna be like, okay, okay. He know what he's talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I don't say it for no reason, because when I don't say it, y'all gonna be like, why didn't he say it? Because y'all wasn't listening in the beginning when I said it the first time. Now I'm over here like a record. So... Be a num num if you want. But don't forget this. I'm going to be back. It's going to be another one y'all going to see with me. So just remember, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me something y'all want to hear. Tell me, hey, shit could get real, real quick. Just know that. Maybe I can take it to the promised land. Check me out. <laughs> it's always going to be some interest and something special when you see me. So just know it is. If you see me in the street, remember. <laughs> nah, but for real, for real though. Get ready. Put your seatbelt on. You might want to put both of them buckles on that shit. And then, hey, I'm going to tell you like this. If you're rocking, you're rock. If you're doing rock, you better leave that shit alone because that shit will break you real quick. You'll be skinnier than a fucking lamppost. There's no, you ain't going to be able to hide. You might just disappear. <laughs> Be lit, be live, and believe in yourself. Also, remember this. Daddy's here. I'm looking over for notes, but I don't got shit. <laughs> you know what, fully? I think you do got something, my nigga. Go back out here. Be Alright family, until we get our next show, remember, love y'all.